Google certified trainers are the leading experts on the use of Google tools in the classroom. If you're feeling unsatisfied with your current career path, the certified trainer program might be just the kickstart that you need. Hi, my name is John Sawash. I help teachers and students use Google tools in the classroom. My journey as a certified trainer began way back in 2011 when I had the privilege of attending the very first inaugural trainer symposium. Uh, this was the program where they actually put together what is now the Certified Trainer Program. We figured it out, and I was one of the very first people to apply. This event, this experience has changed my life and put my career on a totally different trajectory. And I'm super excited about introducing you to the Certified Trainer Program and encouraging you to apply. Let's take a look at the Trainer Program and understand what is required and uh, who qualifies. Now, as I've already said, trainers are the leading experts on the use of Google Workspace tools in the classroom. And your knowledge of tools like Gmail and Classroom and Drive is important, but it's not the only thing. And we'll talk more about uh, what is required. Now, the benefit of becoming a Google certified trainer is that you become authorized by Google to provide support, training, and services to schools, districts, and businesses that are using Google Workspace for education. Now, who can apply to the Certified Trainer Program? Um, first, you need to be an experienced educator. Uh, this program is designed for teachers, administrators, anyone who works in education, and that's a broad term, can be K-12 education, higher education, adult learning, there's uh, a lot of leeway there. You do need to be very, very knowledgeable about Google Workspace products. Um, and in order to apply, you actually have to have your level one and level two certifications that proves your competency using all the Google services. But furthermore, you need to be an experienced presenter to adult learners. And this is one of the challenges that a lot of people have. If you are a great classroom teacher, that is awesome, but you need to have experience teaching other adults. That this program focuses not on effective classroom teaching, but on, on adult learning. Um, you need to have a good knowledge and understanding of educational technology policies. So things like FERPA um, and SIPA, uh, Google privacy practices and things like that. Um, and you need to put all of that together into a learning experience for busy professionals. I mean, now as a certified trainer, there are some ongoing requirements. So once you become a trainer, you must maintain your level one and level two certifications. Those need to be review, uh, renewed every three years. You must lead a minimum of 10 professional development experiences every year. Now, the definition of that is very loose. It can be coaching, speaking at a conference, podcasting, blogging, YouTube videos. Uh, Google is very lenient on what qualifies as an experience. And then once a year, you'll need to complete this annual product update, um, which tests your knowledge of the latest updates to Classroom and Drive and Gmail and whatnot. Um, this typically is published in January and you have a couple months to take it. It's a very straightforward, multiple choice test, usually 20-ish questions, um, nothing to be too, too worried about. Now, it's a lot of work to become a certified trainer and to continue um, your certification. So let's talk about some of the benefits. There are quite a few perks that you get as a certified trainer. Um, one of the coolest ones is you'll get access to the brand new Champions Hub. This is an online community with all Google certified trainers and innovators where you can ask questions, get resources, support, encouragement. Um, Google is very active in this community, so we can ask questions directly to Google reps and get responses if you're having technical issues issues or have questions about some of the latest uh, tools and updates. I'm in here every week. Um, it's great community. I've been a member for years and years, and uh, I would really miss it if I did not have this. You also get a lot of great recognition and respect. Google certified trainers are highly um, respected and uh, sought after. Google has really stepped up their efforts to recognizing and appreciating the certified trainers. Um, just recently, they gave out these um, really cool medals 
um, at ISTE to all the trainers and innovators and these cool pins. Um, there's events that you go to. There's all kinds of appreciative uh, things. So it's really cool. Uh, it's nice to be recognized as uh, an educator. Now, Google has partnered with lots and lots of other companies whose products integrate with Google Workspace, and um, you'll get premium access to some very popular products, uh, things like Book Creator, um, Adobe uh, Tools, Edpuzzle, Explain Everything. I mean, this is only a tiny, tiny fraction of the tools um, that are available. So as a certified trainer, you'll get premium access to all of these. Um, you know, these companies are trying to influence the trainers who are influential you know, decision makers and influence decisions. So they want them to be familiar with the products. So they can recommend them to school administrators and other educators. So I take advantage of this all the time. I uh, use it on a regular basis. As a certified trainer, you will occasionally receive events to attend special events at Google headquarters and things. So, um, you know, this one here over on the left is um, the most recent one in Sunnyvale, California. That was a lot of fun. Um, this is Google Ann Arbor, where I live in Michigan. We had a fun event there. And then several years ago, Google Chicago um, invited us out for a special event. This is not something you should count on. I, it happens sporadically. We had a long hiatus because of COVID, but it really is awesome to be able to go visit a Google office and um, experience what it's like to, to work at Google for a day. Google also provides all certified trainers with a premium Google Workspace for Education domain. So this is a um, demo account and they enable a lot of experimental and premium features here. So right now we're doing a lot of testing with the Google Gemini products. So this is your opportunity to get early access to some of these features, understand them so you can go out and train others as well. That's included as a certified trainer. And then occasionally Google will invite trainers to join them at big events like ISTE and TCEA to um, come on stage and speak at their booth. They do little spark sessions and things like that. Uh, that's a lot of fun and a great honor. Getting access to new features is another really great perk of being a certified trainer. Uh, right now, like I said, I'm playing around with a lot of the Gemini features. This option right here just popped up in Google Classroom, some uh, AI grading support. And this allows us, again, to be familiar with the tools and the new updates so that we can go and train other people. Now, if you have aspirations to start your own consulting business or just do it on the side a little bit, Google does maintain the trainer directory, which is a listing of individuals who are available for hire uh, by schools and businesses. Um, it's not required to do this. It's optional, um, but it's a good option. Now, I will tell you straight up that your life is not going to be changed by getting listed in this directory. I've been listed since the very beginning, and I think I've had less than six opportunities as a direct result of the trainer directory. If you want to be successful as a consultant or content creator, you're going to have to go out and do your own marketing and your own work. This alone is not going to uh, get you there. The certified trainer program has allowed me to provide for my family. I have five kids. Uh, they're getting bigger and more expensive. Um, as a classroom teacher, I realized that my salary alone was not going to make it. And so I had to uh, look for opportunities to earn additional income outside of my regular salary. The certified trainer program did that for me. Now, for me, it started very slowly. I, I did a lot of free stuff. Um, and then over time, I would get one or two things a year and it became more and more until eventually I made the decision to begin doing this full time. That's not a career path that everybody will have. You may not even want that, but you have the option as a certified trainer to go out and provide professional development services for schools and businesses if that's something you're interested in. Those are the perks of becoming a certified trainer. Let's get you on board and uh, get you there. The trainer program has a pretty robust set of application requirements. There are five required elements that we're going to look at. We'll go through each one and I'll give you some tips and ideas for putting together the best possible application. The first thing that you're going to need is your level one and level two certifications. You'll need to have those PDF certificates ready to upload to your trainer application. Now, if you do not have your level one and level two certifications, you can work on that at the same time. If you'd like a little help and support in that, 
uh, task. I run the Google Certification Academy several times a year where we prepare for the level one and level two tests. I've worked with, at this point, 3,000 uh, educators uh, over the course of the last seven, eight years on this. If you're interested, uh, my cohorts typically begin in January, June, and July. Uh, you can see the upcoming cohort by uh, visiting geducator.com. The second thing that is required is another exam. This is the trainer skills assessment. So this is totally separate from level one and level two. This is a very short exam. It's only 20 multiple choice questions. Uh, and this assessment will test your knowledge of Google's security and privacy practices and some adult learning pedagogy. Uh, Google has a, a very detailed course that you can take that will prepare you for this exam. Not terribly exciting, but it is comprehensive. This exam has a $15 exam fee. Uh, you can take it as many times as necessary. Uh, I, I took it recently just to review it and I finished in 20 minutes. Um, it's not a particularly difficult test. Part three of your application are some questions. Uh, and you got some you know, basic demographic information. There's an essay question titled, why do you wanna be a certified trainer? Um, you are talk a little bit about your experience in education, some of the past training experiences that you've offered, and um, you need to explain how you plan to meet the required 10 training a year um, recertification metric. So those are all part of uh, your application. We just type those out. I think all of these are like 100, 200 word responses, so they're not looking for uh, anything super long. Now, if you are interested in applying, I've put together a free application guide. So I just created, I took all the application questions, I put them in a Google Doc, and then I added some notes to those questions to kind of guide you through like, what is Google looking for here? How can you craft a response that's going to be accepted and looked on favorably by the review committee? Um, I have reviewed these applications on behalf of Google before, so I have a pretty good idea of what they're looking for, and I can help you pass uh, the first time. The application guide is free, it's a template, you just fill in your answers there and you can copy and paste them into the actual application. You can visit the uh, link on the screen or I also put it in the uh, description for this video. You can click on it there. Element number four of your application is a case study. And this is where you're going to pick one professional development experience that you did in the last 12 months. And you're going to um, really dive deep into what it looked like, how you created it, how you designed it, how it was an effective uh, learning experience. You're going to gather feedback. You're going to um, reflect on it, how you can make it better. This is a challenging part of the application. Um, one key thing is that you need to collect both quantitative and qualitative data. So you need to have some kind of a survey that you give to your attendees where they evaluate the effectiveness of this experience. Um, I think they want at least five survey results, and you'll include that within your case study. Um, you also need to do this in the past year. And so this is where some people, uh, it takes a little bit longer to apply to the program because they actually will set this up while they're doing their application so that they're they're creating their training experience with this specific application in mind. And again, I've got some tips in my um, application guide that will kind of guide you through that process, what they're looking for, some templates that you can utilize um, to uh, make that process a little easier. The final element of your trainer application is a video. Now, this is a two to three minute video where you demonstrate your ability to use a Google tool in an innovative way. So maybe you want to say, this is how you use the canned response feature of Gmail in a classroom environment. Um, here's how you can use the question tool of Google Classroom in a creative way. The video should be short. You don't have to be really fancy. You don't need fancy equipment. Google is not concerned about the production quality as much as they are about the content and your ability to communicate effectively. One of the biggest mistakes people me, uh, make on this is they go over that three minute time frame. The reviewers have to review hundreds of applications and they do not have time to sit here and watch a five minute video. Two to three minutes. If you can get it done in two, then go for two. There's no bonus points for using uh, all three minutes. This is a challenge um, to really create a video. You have to polish it um, 
and work on it quite a bit. Um, so this will this will be something that you'll spend a bit of time on. Those are the five required elements of the certified trainer program. You can apply at any time. There's no uh, deadlines. Google reviews these on a rolling basis, roughly once a month. Uh, so you can work at your own pace. Um, there's no cost to apply for the trainer program. Uh, you do need to purchase the trainer skills assessment, which we talked about, but that's the only fee. Um, and uh, I'll put the link in the video description where you apply to the program. You create an account. It saves your progress. You can come back uh, and work on it over time. Um, it's, it's a very robust application for sure. Now, I've put together five common reasons that applications are rejected. And the first one is silly and dumb but if you don't follow the instructions you won't be accepted if you make a five minute video if you pick a case study on something you did three years ago you're not going to be accepted into the program so read the instructions and make sure you're following them another big issue is not sharing your resources correctly so google will ask you to uh, provide links to your certificate your google uh, training material things like that if you don't share it in a way that they can access it you're not going to be accepted into the program. Um, if you upload a certificate that has been um, it, that's expired, that will cause you to be rejected. And if you spend some time on this, if it takes you a couple months to complete your application, you have to remember is like make sure your certificate's not going to be expiring during the application process. Lack of experience in education is another big one. Google is not really interested in you know corporate trainers uh, applying to the program. They really want educators who are passionate about education and the use of technology. Um, and so four and five, you know, kind of go together. Not working with adult learners is an issue, and then not working specifically in the field of education is another reason that applications are rejected. I'd love to help you apply to the program. It's wonderful. It's changed my life and really been a tremendous benefit for me. Go ahead and download my free application guide to get started and kind of look at all the application questions. This is going to take you a while to complete. It's not something you're going to knock off in a weekend. If you're interested in more direct support, uh, you might want to consider joining me for the Google Trainer Academy, which is a program I do once a year with a very small group of educators, and we work together on our application. So you can visit my website, the link is in the description, sign up for the wait list. Um, again, this is a very small, very kind of unique experience, so I only do it once a year. Um, I'd love to help you become a Google Certified Trainer.